Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Letter to help you knit with ease, confidence and joy. Let's talk about knitting in the festive season today. There are three ways I've got for you to just keep knitting front of mind because it can really help balance the energies that are just about at this time of year. We think that the energies would just be slowing down now because it is hibernation, it's winter time, it's a slowing down time of year. But because of so many festivities happening, especially in the nations where we find Christmas time actually being a big part of society, and that means that the preparations start and of course the energy is high. There's a lot of bustling and activity. It's all squashed into that smaller part of the day, the shorter days that we have now at this time of year too. So it can feel very busy, the energetic can be quite frantic when we want to be thinking about wintering, to think about hibernation and slowing down. So let's talk today about how you can find that balance because knitting is what gives you that balance. The f frenetic energy can actually be really, really well balanced with a session of knitting. Just calm and relaxation. So how we're, how are we going to bring knitting to the forefront of your mind? Well, I've got three ways for you to do that today. So the first way, so many things might be top of mind at the moment. That is what I suggest you hold in your vision. The reason for knitting at this time of year, it may be a gift that you're knitting. It may be something that you're you're knitting for yourself to keep yourself warm in the new year because it's going to get colder very likely. Keep that vision top of mind and perhaps even get a journal out, write something about how excited you are to be either gifting this item that you're knitting or to be taking that knit and wearing it when it's snowing. All of those little things that you can put into your vision what are the emotions that you feel when you finish that knit and you're using that knit? What wrapping paper are you going to use if you're knitting it for a gift? All those little things in your vision can actually say, oh yeah, I really want to go back to that project. I want to keep knitting it. So that's something you can do. Also, perhaps this time of year, it's the vision of promising to learn something in 2022. Is this projects that you're knitting at the moment part of that learning process? Is it saying, yeah, I really wanted to get to grips with cables this year. I know I use cables a lot, but it's part of knitting that so many people understand and so many people can relate to because you can knit a cable. Oh, I can knit cables, but there's a whole lot more to it as well. Is there just a few things within cables that you wanted to learn this year? And that's what these projects have been leading up to. And that vision of being able to knit cables with more confidence. It's just coming to some kind of conclusion now. And then next year you'll feel so much more confident. You'll feel the ease when you pick up your knitting. So that can be part of your vision too. Perhaps you want to write about that as well, but that creative process could actually just go into your knitting. You choose what works for you. So that's the first thing. Knitting for a reason, and you're going to find that reason and just focus on it. The second way you can make knitting front of mind at this time of year and give yourself that balance is to make it easy. If you've got so many other things happening at this time of year, I mean, not only are all these other things happening in culture. It's the end of school term. It's the end of university term. So many things are happening. and um, A lot of countries are having that short break over, over the Christmas holidays at the end of the year with the New Year celebration as well. Perhaps that's something you kind of feel that there's a conclusion coming. Make it easy for yourself to keep picking up that knitting. That momentum that happens before the end of the year might just distract you. So keep it close by in your eye line. Have your bag of knitting right by the chair where you sit every evening. Have your knitting tools all ready for this whole project. 
not just I need these two pairs of needles within the first 10 rows because I'm doing ribbing and then I'm changing to do stocking stitch. That's not all you're likely to need. Do you need some extra yarn to maybe mark a row? Do you need a cable needle? Do you need a stitch holder? All of these little things, stitch markers, measuring tape, just think what you might need as you're knitting this project. Add those things to your knitting bag. Have them there ready so that you don't even hesitate. Okay, oh no, I've got to find my measuring tape before I knit for the next bit. Oh, I can't be bothered, I won't knit this evening. That's the last thing you want. Make it easy. And making it easy will help you to knit more regularly and give yourself that balance. The other way you can do this is by choosing a pattern that's easy for you to knit. We talked about choosing easy patterns for gift knitting, but you can easily use that kind of tactic to choose knitting for yourself as well. Choose those patterns that you go, yeah, I can knit that, no problem, no problem whatsoever. I'm gonna do that, it's gonna be fine, easy peasy. And then when you pick your knitting up, you just carry on with it. Look at that, I know where I am in the pattern, I'm marking it easily so I can see where I am. Boom, get started, knit a few rows. Before you know it, you feel relaxed. You can feel that balance just coming back into your life, nice. So that is something that can be really, really helpful. Keeping it top of mind is keeping it in eye line, keeping it easy for you to knit every evening. So the third thing is to make it memorable. Make that recognition every day. Yes, I'm knitting. Knitting is top of mind. It's not just in my eyesight with the project bag there. I'm getting reminders every day. And you can do that with perhaps an advent calendar. We have advent calendars in the shop right now. I have put tomorrow aside to actually start packing more of them up. I've got the stickers all ready to keep going. And yeah, it's one to 24. You get two projects within it, the yarn and the patterns to go with those two projects. Lots of different tools and um, stationery as well, exclusive Knit With Hannah stationery that you'll get to, to just keep you knitting throughout the weeks before Christmas. Keep you interested. Keep that knitting top of mind. It can be really, really helpful to just say, yep, yeah, I remember that. Yep, yeah, I remember that. You're going to look forward to it. You're going to go, oh yes, what's next today? Is that the yarn on the pattern for the first project? Great, I can find the needles and start knitting. You'll just have that excitement, something to look forward to every day. It's going to keep you engaged and in touch with knitting on a daily basis all the way through December. So something like this could be really, really helpful. And then throughout the festive season, there's also the 12 days of Christmas box. So from the 25th to the 5th of January, 25th of December to the 5th of January, there is 12 gifts in a box. And that's just taking you through from Christmas into the new year Again, there are going to be two projects. Again, there's going to be tools and stationery. And actually, this one is going to be ideal if you'd really like some easy knitting projects for that time of year, because those 12 days can be, again, kind of frantic. For me, I know I've got at least three visits to family, probably four, with a lot more people around me than I'm actually comfortable with. <laughs> I'm quite an introvert, believe it or not, and lots of people around me can be a bit much, so I definitely need the balance when I get home. Ah, oh, calm down. <laughs> Let that energy release and feel the balance when I get home. It's lovely seeing family, but all at once in such a close-knit time can be quite overwhelming. And then, of course, there are, the, there are many of you, I'm, very, I'm sure, who we'll actually have quite a quiet time. Nick and I have had that some years where actually we've, it's just been the two of us. And not because of the pandemic, but we may have seen maybe one or two family members and that's it. And then we've just lived the rest of those days between Christmas and into the new year by ourselves. 
So it's actually felt quite relatively quiet. Just no one's around. And I've wanted that. I've needed that quiet time. And I've wanted that relaxation time. And that knitting that came out during those times was actually really helpful. Did you just see me through and let myself see the progress from day to day? So those 12 days can be really helpful too. So those that 12 days festive box is ready and waiting for you over in the shop. As I'm recording this, there are only three of each left. And there is one combination box where you get a discount for getting both of them together. So if they've gone by now, I'm sorry. However, do sign up to the email list. There will be something else coming along in the next few weeks. And I'll tell you more about it then. Um, that will give you guidance and support and give you that notification, that reminder every day to say, knitting's important. I need that balance in my life. I need that calm in my life. I need that relaxation, that breath in my life. It's a really important time for solitude and for me time as well. So that's your three suggestions for continuing to knit during the festive season. Season. It, the first one was to make it a reason why you're knitting. What is the incentive and the vision that you have for what you're knitting? The second one was all about making it easy. Keep it top of mind in your eye line. Keep that knitting in eyesight as you move it around your house every day. And of course, choose the easy knitting pattern as well. And the third one was to make it memorable and give yourself those reminders on a daily basis. You're going to remember opening advent calendars. You're going to remember the 12 days of Christmas box. You're going to say, oh yeah, I want to do that next year. And you're going to remember when all those little things that you open up came into your life as you knit through the next few years. So just think about that too. Do you want those memories? Do you want those reminders? As you drop knitting into your daily life through December, and into the new year, it will really help you find that balance and keep the calm and relaxation in your life through what can be quite a frenetic episode in the year. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I will leave the Choosing Easy Knitting Patterns video down below so you can take a look at that. And yes, it may be um, focused towards gift knitting, but you could also use some of those tips for knitting for yourself too. And do join the email list. That's where I'm going to release and talk about the online version of the Advent Calendar that just keep knitting top of mind during the festive season as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next week. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you knit with ease confidence. <coughs> <laughs> that frog in my throat completely made me lose what I was saying.